So you want to compete in one of the biggest competitive gaming scenes? Then you've come to the right place. Welcome to Fortnite. Bunch of girls tell me where you at your motivation guide. That's right, guys. I'm back. We're going to give you guys the ultimate beginner's guide to Fortnite competitive. You're going to learn the basic fundamentals of the game as well as some tips that is going to have you leagues ahead of other beginners by the time you finish this video. All right, so get ready for the drop in three, two, one. It's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. What is it, y'all? Come on. It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, let's get this going. All right, bet. So for the first thing that you need to understand if you guys want to go pro is what is Fortnite, right? And what you should be aiming for if you want to make it big. Well, Fortnite plays like any other battle royale in terms of objectives. You and 100 other players are going to be dropping on the island and the last person standing is going to be the one that's going to take the victory crown. You know, it sounds simple enough, right? Well, with Fortnite, it gets a little bit more complicated than that, guys. Like not only do you have the usual shrinking boundary that drives players towards each other as the match progresses, but you also have to gather building materials along the way to defend yourself against other players and win fights. With a third person perspective and fast paced gameplay, you're going to want to start training right away to master three things. All right, get this right now. It's your mechanics, your fighting skills, and your game sense. You're going to do this, man, and I'm telling you, you're going to be entering cash cuts before you know it. You know, mastering Fortnite can be tough, but with the right guidance, you can go pro in no time. Click on the link below and visit ProGuys.com. You're going to find expert level tips and tricks that's going to help you no matter what skill level you come with. Get expert level coaching by asking a pro and learn the secrets they use to win big. You know, mechanics are everything in Fortnite. I mean, if you're not building during a match, it's only so far you can go. You also need to understand aim as well as editing. Each of these skills greatly benefits from the others, and anyone that can master all three is going to go far. Don't rely, guys, solely on just strafing to avoid damage. Make a habit of placing a wall whenever you see yourself getting fired on. You know, one basic technique every player needs to know is boxing up. You know, by placing four walls in the floor above you, you can defend yourself from any direction. It also buys you time to heal and figure out your next move. Editing is important for more or advanced techniques such as opening up windows to land a shot or just moving around during the end game. We're going to get a little bit more into that a little later. If you guys look at the pros today, I mean, you're going to see that a lot of them pull off insane edits during a match. They do this because it not only confuses their opponent, but it just gives them multiple options to attack, defend, and flee if necessary. And if you make a habit of building and editing during your fight, you're going to have full control of the playing field, right? This is great for mastering peace control, which is a technique used by pros to trap their opponents for easier eliminations and make unexpected edits. Peace control is based on a basic rule of Fortnite. Your opponent cannot edit the builds or pieces you put down. So if you manage to place a box around them, you're going to need to destroy it first before they can go anywhere. This restricts their movement. And if you guys play your edits right, it's going to be like shooting fish in a barrel. All right, aiming is the next mechanic that you need to master to make everything work out. I mean, you could be the best builder and even create the best peaks and, you know, catch your opponents by surprise. But if you can't aim, I mean, you're never going to get any eliminations and your career is just dead in the water. So you have to learn learn how each weapon in the current meta works. Does this work better long range, short range? Does it shoot fast? Is it slow? So just keep in mind that, you know, whenever you shoot, you could most likely be facing off against moving targets. Not to mention those targets might be building. So being able to land a good, accurate shot can be critical towards winning a fight. All right, so the best place to train your mechanics is on creative. Uh, start by just getting used to the controls, especially the key binds for building. Tinker with your settings to get the right controls for you and just make sure that you start developing muscle memory through repetition. Then work your way up to live opponents through 1v1s and zone wars. And you're gonna be able to jump right into the action without having to bump into opponents in a normal match. All right, bunch of course, it's time for the question of the day. You guys ready for this? Here we go. What makes you wanna be a pro gamer? You know, any players that got you invested in the game, put your answers in the comment section below. We'll definitely check it out. All right, so now we come to the skill that needs to be learned, relearned, and just kept updated all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about game sense. You know, unlike your mechanics, you can't train this on creative. Game sense is knowing what to expect around every corner where items spawn, as well as the meta that is currently circulating. Every time you land in a game of Fortnite, you're learning. All right, so why did you choose this drop spot? Did you arrive first or did others land before you? How many chests are nearby? Where did you go next? And you know, how do you get there? This is just all part of the game. And this is all part of game sense that you can learn by just keeping up to date with you know what other players are doing as well as just diving headfirst into a match. A player with good game sense is going to make it very far because they can make the right choices most of the time on what to do next. So if you know a landing spot is going to be full of players, then you might choose somewhere less you know cluttered so you can just get geared up and just be ready to take on any threat that might pop up. While it might seem like more players mean more kills, I get it, you must keep in mind that in competitive, the worst thing that you can do is just die off spawn. And then you don't get a chance to really play that round. Alright, so learn what each land 
hunting spot has to offer and just take advantage of the loot maps, guys. Uh, you can find these anywhere people discuss competitive Fortnite. Rotation options are also important. You know, once you're done looting your landing spot, you're gonna wanna check your map and just see where the storm is headed next. Don't let yourself get lost in the storm, no. Choose your next location. And if you learn the map by heart, you're gonna know what other unnamed POI and looting options you're gonna stumble across. You know, one good way to really learn these skills is really by watching what other pros do. Pros spend their time studying the game inside and out and it's gonna usually have, you know, some of the best strategies based on the current meta. So ask yourself this, why do they do what they do? Whether it be landing or fighting or rotating and choosing equipment, there's always a reason behind the choices they make. Okay, so there are three stages to any Fortnite game and understanding each of them is gonna help you guys get a better idea of what you're supposed to be doing during each one. You're gonna have early game and mid games and late games. So during early game, you're gonna focus on choosing your drop spot, landing, looting, and just fighting off any other, you know, player that might engage you for those early game eliminations. People are hungry during that time. This is usually like the most chaotic part of the game due to the fact that you and your opponents can be caught unarmed and without building materials, right? Word of advice, if you land first, land near some loot. All right, the mid game is where things kind of calm down for a bit. You won't really encounter as many players as you did during the early game. And you're gonna find that a number of players are gonna keep dropping down as well. Use this time to stay ahead of the storm circle and just gather up building materials and just better weapons. This is really the time where you're gonna prepare for the late game. So keep in mind that you're gonna want to seek out at least some fights during this time. You know, in competitive game modes and tournaments, you're gonna encounter storm surge. All right, so storm surge occurs when there are too many players on the map during certain intervals. If you haven't dealt any damage in a while, then you might start seeing your health just kind of trickle away. Remember, all you need to do to stop this from happening is just really just deal enough damage to just get you out of, you know, the list of least active players. You don't even need to get the elimination. So the late game is all about building and editing and just keeping the high ground. So if you're playing casual Fortnite, the match might end before the building even begins. But in competitive, players are going to start trying to get the high ground on each other by building towers and just keeping an eye on their opponents. You know, you're no longer going to get the benefit of chest or harvesting too many materials from natural structures. So if you guys want to replenish your ammo and match, you're going to need to get kills. Most importantly, once the circle gets small enough, it's going to begin to move, forcing you to keep up with it by building paths that you can walk across. To practice for this, many players try zone wars, which can be found on creative. You know, it's smaller maps, but the concept is the same and it really helps you develop a feel for the stage of the game without having to play through the whole match to get there. So the last thing you need to learn about competitive mode is what to expect. Arena is the key to mastering comp, right? Here, and I mean like right here, every player is working towards the same goal. So skill levels are gonna be cranked up and they're gonna be playing with the competitive loot pool. Earn arena points, man, by just getting eliminations, getting high placements and getting that victory royale. Your goal is Champions League and reaching this rank is gonna qualify you for more lucrative events. This should be your goal at the start of each season. So just keep an eye out, you know, on the calendar and just start training right away, all right? You know, most players really start off as solo players, but if you want to participate in as many events as possible, you're going to need to find a duo or a trio. Having teammates, I mean, that you can really work well with is just great for training, but it's also gonna help you learn important skills such as comms and just playing different roles and fighting as one. All right, so before we wrap things up today, do not forget to visit proguys.com today and see how you can hypercharge your skills fast. But of course, Simon, that's gonna be it for today. It's your motivation guy. Connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. I hope you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment and just let us know what you'd be more interested in learning more about. Remember, guys, you are just beginning the journey. But if you got the drive to become a pro, <laughs> hey, anything is possible for those who believe. Hey, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.